Hello, I'm Martin Bakadax with the International Business Times, giving you a quick market update inside our European Crisis Live blog. Markets are modestly gaining this morning, but really it's all about the politics more than any market fundamentals that's added to the optimism. Last night, of course, we had the Mansion House at dinner speech here in the City of London, a pledge for support for the banks from Bank of England Governor Mervyn King, and also a pledge to add some small business lending stimulus to the moribund British economy by Chancellor George Osborne. Together, those are seen as a way in which central banks around the world can possibly put firewalls around their economies in the event of a fallout from the Greek election this weekend. And of course, Greece goes to the polls to select, for the second time in as many months, a government that will steer them through their worst economic crisis really in history. There's also elections in France at the weekend as well, which have big political implications. The lower house of parliament will be selected, and it does seem like it's an odds-on chance that the socialist government of Francois Hollande will gain control of the house. He'll then have control of the Senate, and really he'll have a much better chance of advancing his pro-growth strategy for the whole of the Euros and really cha challenge the dominance, politically at least, that Angela Merkel has had around the Eurozone. We're going to keep an eye on this and all of the other developments throughout the day, so check out the live blog on ivytimes.co.uk.